Okay, part two of my video. Uh, so yeah, that colony there is dead. I'm gonna close off that entrance. I'll probably take uh, the top box off because it's empty. Uh, just put the lid so I can work sideways this way. Uh, you can see lots of volume. So this, this one here is a double. So my hope is to do what I just did with the other yard is move the bees, uh, have a look at quick stores, how heavy those boxes are, and then uh, probably keep the top one and remove the bottom one. Same thing here. Uh, my goal would be to keep the medium uh, in this one and remove that one. Uh, and then eventually what I'll do is I'll come back and put a medium on this one just before I leave. So I'll leave the super insulation on top because uh, you can see I just finished that other reduction. Bottom box was still a good 50 pounds. Uh, most of the honey was intact. Uh, top box was a good, I don't know, 30, 40 pounds, uh, very heavy. So there's plenty of stores left. Uh, but uh, so yeah, and I guess the other thing is clean out the bottom boards because uh, uh, these look worse than the other yard. And then what I'll do is I'll just make a pile of bees there and come pick it up with a bucket later. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Key is reduce this, reduce that. I'll probably take the side panels off. I did bring my impact. And that way I'll be able to work sideways. The back panel is probably frozen in. Uh, but I should be able to pull the side panels. And then I'll consider do I even put it back. Anyways, that'll be the objective of this check. Uh, so yeah, it's still a very beautiful day. The sun's behind some clouds. It's about 3 p.m. right now. Uh, but you can see the bees are active. Uh, beautiful day to be outside and uh, might as well enjoy it. Do a bit of bee time, check the size of these clusters. Uh, the previous one, uh, so it was, how big? It was two eight-frame boxes, and when I opened everything up, there's probably uh, 10 frames of bees. So the top box was full, and then the bottom box had equivalent two, three frames of bees, and so now it's all consolidated into one box. And then what I'll do is, uh, these frames here are contaminated with Nosema and Amoeba, so uh, these will get quarantined to get fumigated. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll make up a box of honey frames and brood frames and uh, I'll put that on top uh, before I leave because there is plenty of bees to take up that volume and then I won't have to worry about the, uh, the month and a half of me being gone. They'll have plenty of space to grow into. And I come back and I should have uh, boxes full of bees. Uh, there's plenty of honey there, so I don't need to worry about the starvation. There's plenty of insulation on it, so they should be nice and well protected. So anyways, uh, you can see that my, my bee system uh, is a really low consumption system. Uh, and my gut feel is it's the very high top insulation and the low ventilation model allows the bees to just basically pretend that they're not even there. So that colony that I inspected about an hour ago, it felt small. But when I looked at it, I was like, oh, wow. So this is actually quite big. So nothing to worry about. And that's the, uh, the challenge sometimes is if the bees are too active, too outgoing, and too movie, just to make a word up, uh, they're burning energy, they're they're aging, and there's there's challenges. So, anyways, let's uh, check this out. Okay, so this is budgie. Try not to step on it. So, what I'm going to do is take this box, put it on the lid here, so it's protected. Nothing gets out. I'll leave the top on. I can observe the bottom one here, and uh, basically. Uh, see how many bees are in there, and then transfer them over. Okay, I can hear them. Go 
This is the bottom box. Uh, they're really not coming out, uh, so it's similar to the other situation. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll remove that, put it on top of here for now, and clean the bottom board out. Then put this back on, use the box as a funnel, and then push the, the bees back in. And then you can see the bees aren't going all the way through, so they're stuck on top. And like I said, the, uh, the latches do get in the way, so let's uh, get this cleaned up. So now, put this one back on top. Another challenge with these licenses is there's only handles front to back. There's none on the sides. So it's actually quite annoying to lift in place. Oh, it's heavy. Okay. Lots of bees on me, haven't been stung yet. I do have my EpiPen just in case, because uh, I am potentially developing a, uh, a reaction. So let's open this up. Okay, lots of bees. So you can see this colony is great. It's big, a lot of bees. So I'll just create a funnel and funnel the bees through. I do have a medium box here that I can use. Okay. Back on, and we've got one consolidated and ready to go. Okay, this is the smallest cluster so far. So there's a medium that had a okay nest, but I'm gonna consolidate everything into this box here. Uh, and then eventually I'll probably put the medium on top. But you can see the bottom box here is uh, completely empty. So the bees have trouble penetrating it. So that's uh, the objective. Totality, so the bottom box, you can see if you look underneath here, full of dead bees. Uh, so it'll be good to uh, consolidate that. 
and get rid of it and see the bottom board is full of bees too so i'll give it a good cleaning okay so mission accomplished uh didn't put my hands in that one because that one's contaminated but i shrunk this one to a single that one to a single and a medium uh which is good so i don't have to do anything else this one here i'll add a medium to it uh a bit later uh overall that one there was the weakest of the four that are still remaining uh, this one was much stronger than i thought and same on the other side uh, they were much stronger uh, lots of poop so i've got some my phone is actually the screen is just full of poop there's like 20 poops on it uh, from the bees just uh, flying around so you can see uh early season uh first pollen isn't for two months uh but i got to take these opportunities when i can uh take advantage of beautiful days it is slightly cold but they haven't started brood rearing yet so there's uh, not much harm done other than stressing them out a bit uh, but we get another three four days of this warmish temperature so they'll have time to reconsolidate I did complain a lot about these latches, uh, but the good thing about them is I'm able to latch them tight to seal because the thing with these license boxes, these are flat tops. So the edge is flat, so it's flat on flat versus these ones here have an indent. So it's indent to outer indent. So they sit together. Uh, they both have their advantages, disadvantages. I'd rather have this type, uh, this one here, uh does work uh but those latches do get in the way and just the fact that they only have front back handles is kind of annoying if you're trying to work them from the back uh so they're good from the side but uh quite difficult to work from the back uh when they're really heavy so they're back they're calm uh i'll give them a day or two and then i'll come back and just do a quick check and like i said i'll need to fix the uh the entrance on that there okay i'm back home uh these are the three boxes that i've taken off so this one here is the one from the yard on the other side of the house there so what i'll do is i'll clean these up uh and then i'll be adding this box back in about a month just before i go uh this is the one colony that was on the far left in that other bee yard uh, the one that was uh, double and a medium you can see way too much volume a lot wetter uh, the seams were full of dead bees and plugging that up uh, there's poop on top so i'm gonna i'm gonna sample that uh, this one here was in the other one the one that was a double uh, much drier uh, a little bit of white mold but it's it's not bad uh it's very heavy uh actually this one's not too bad this one here is weighs a ton uh and then this one here is heavy so uh and the top boxes were still quite heavy so it tells me that the bees uh still have plenty of food uh to get to spring and start brood rearing so so yeah so you can see this is the other reason why i like running singles our smaller volumes is you don't have to deal with this uh i've invested sugar in here uh so it's basically i won't say it's wasted sugar uh but it's it's not even insurance so basically they didn't need it and it's just extra it's extra volume it's extra places for the bee bees to stay warm or keep warm uh it makes it prone to uh extra bee kill if there's too much and you can see it's the corners the edges uh, where the condensation occurs that's where the mortality happens and this one here was even worse is the seams actually have a lot of dead bees and uh, what i'll do is i'll just clean this out shake the bees off and store it and then tomorrow uh, I'll put them in the sun just to sun dry them uh, so they don't go moldy. I do have uh, some sawhorses that I'll use and I'll just put them out in the sun. I think it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow so that's, uh, I'll be drying them out before the bees can actually start foraging. Uh, 
and I'll scrape the tops off and clean all these frames up and these boxes. So anyways, and then there's the top from the dead hive. Uh, I'm going to have to clean the bottom of it. Uh, there's poop in there and stuff. So that poop is uh, probably infected. So uh, what I'll be doing after this is sampling this honey, uh, sampling the poop on the frames, same with over here. And then, uh, Basically, cleaning these boxes up. Okay, so this is that broken frame there. So there is some dark honey in there. And then you can see some crystallization there where the, either the sugar syrup or the honey crystallize. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take samples of that and some of the darker honey. And just to give me an idea of uh, what's in it, I won't spin it, but I should be able to, to have a good look. And then you can see I've got these little vials. So I put uh, poop samples from the frames from the different uh, boxes and I'll, I'll do that one there. So I'll do uh, four frame samples. I'll do some honey samples and it should give me some, some interesting insight. And if I see other interesting things, I'll, I'll take some samples. Cheers.